Hi, welcome to the amazing world of encaustic, or painting with beeswax. This incredibly versatile medium has been around for a long time, since the 5th century, but kind of died out for a little while in popularity. Well, it's back, thanks to mixed media artists experimenting with encaustics. My name is Bethany Karchner, and I'm excited to introduce you to encaustic painting. Sometimes people shy away from encaustic because it's expensive. Now yeah, beeswax is expensive, but so are scrapbook supplies and tools and nice acrylics. The key to beginning any hobby is to start small and to add on as money allows. If you'd like to experiment with encaustics, I suggest purchasing a small set of colored wax. Purple Cows has a set of primary colored wax that's fabulous for beginners. I would also suggest purchasing the Purple Cows Melt Tool. It comes with um, six interchangeable tips, a storage container, and a tip rest. This tool is so versatile that it can be used for soldering, wood burning, leather branding, and image transfers, just to name a few things. The third tool that you'll need is a heat gun. Now you'll use this to melt the wax and fuse everything together. Now if you've ever embossed before, have been a stamper in a past life, you might already have one of these at home. Now you're also going to need some sort of background to put your wax on. To begin, I would suggest heavy watercolor paper. Also have some paper towels, scrap paper, and wax paper on hand. I also personally like to have baby wipes, but that's up to you. Now if you'd like to get a few more supplies, I suggest looking for a small crock pot for melting the clear and caustic medium and a cheap one inch brush from a home improvement store. Now this brush won't last forever because it's not very expensive, but it will give you a start into this medium. Now, personally, I like to use either dark brown or black oil paint to create interesting lines in my artwork. And if you'd like to do the same, I suggest purchasing disposable gloves to protect your hands from the oil paints. You can find these at different stores, um, you know, basic home improvement stores and things like that. Now, these tools should give you a nice base for incorporating caustic into your artistic repertoire. If the safety of encaustics concerns you, let me give you a few pointers. When you set up your studio, make sure that you have a nice cross breeze by opening up a few windows and by placing a fan blowing towards the outside of one window. Now, Purple Cow's colored wax are all non-toxic when used correctly. They are made without chemical additives and all the pigments are organic. Now, when I say used correctly, this is what I mean. I mean don't heat your wax up too high. Beeswax should not be heated above 240 degrees Fahrenheit. Signs that your wax is too hot is a nasty smell and smoke. You may be wondering what products go with encaustic and what doesn't. The only big rule that I've found so far is to avoid large amounts of acrylic paint and gesso. Underneath the encaustic, acrylic paint forms a seal that won't allow the beeswax to, to fuse to the background substrate, so it won't stick very well. And on top of encaustic, the acrylic paint will just chip off. It won't work. So if you do want to apply um, paint on top of your encaustic, I suggest using something with oil, like an oil paint or an oil pastel, something like that. Now, the things that you can use with encaustic is amazing. It is so vast that I can't possibly cover everything you can use in this short video. So I'm just going to give you some suggestions and let your imagination fly.